section this we discuss last week uh, what is electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction state then whenever there is a change in the magnetic field it will produce emf or current so the change in the magnetic field will induce or produce emf or current and we discussed two laws related to this electromagnetic induction faraday's law and lenz law so faraday's law state if there is a greater change in a magnetic field induced emf will be higher and lenz law state the emf induced always oppose the change in the magnetic field these are the two laws which are related to electromagnetic induction now the devices which based on their working based on electromagnetic induction or work on a principle of electromagnetic induction a transformer and the second one is ac generator alternating current generator so we will discuss both of them that how electromagnetic induction how they are working based on electromagnetic induction the first one is transformer what is the purpose of the transformer why we use transformer it is used to increase or decrease the voltage if we want to increase the voltage or we want to decrease the voltage we use a transformer and the circuit symbol for transformer the circuit symbol two coils and between the coils the vertical lines this is a circuit symbol for transformer how it works working of a transformer but Uh, in exam because normally you are not using like you don't have a question in which you are using a transformer directly so instead of using a circuit symbol we draw the complete transformer how to draw a complete transformer we have a piece of iron this is a piece of iron this also known as iron core a soft iron core the soft does not mean like it is you can uh, apply force and easily deform the soft iron core here refers to it can be magnetized or demagnetized easily on this soft iron core we wrap the wire around or turn the wire on two sides this is one and this one is another 
So we wrap the wire around. We call them as a coil. But one side, one of the side, we connect an AC supply. If I connect an AC supply on the right hand side coil, AC supply is there or input. The po position, the point where we connect an AC supply, that position, that coil is known as primary coil. And the other coil, which is not having any supply, it's open. We can connect any device, but no supply is there. That coil is known as secondary coil. Now, how it works, working of a transformer. So first, what happened? An AC input in the primary coil produce variable magnetic field. So what happened when we connect a device here like AC supply, how we represent an AC current alternating current, alternating current is continuously changing its magnitude and direction. So if I sketch a graph for AC alternating current. So first the current increase, then the current decrease, then the current increase in opposite direction, then the current decrease, then again current increase, then decrease. It is changing the axis because the direction is changing. So what is the characteristic of AC current alternating current? It changes its direction as well as it changes its magnitude continuously. So what is the effect of this current? As we know, the effect of the current when there is an alternating current, if there is an AC current, the current produces a magnetic field. So as the current produces a magnetic field, so this iron core is now magnetized because iron is a magnetic material. Initially, it was not magnetized because there is no magnetic field. But when we pass the current or we use an AC supply, the iron core is magnetized because of the magnetic field of the current from the supply. So AC current or AC input in the primary coil produce vari variable magnetic field or change in the magnetic field. Now what happened because of this magnetic field? The magnetic field due to current in primary coil magnetized the iron core. So this iron core is also now acting like a magnet because it's a magnetic material. Then what happened? This iron core magnetic field is not constant. Why it is not constant? Because the current Because the current is continuously changing. So as the current is continuously changing, the magnetic field is also changing. So the change in the magnetic field cause or induce of iron core induce EMF or current in the secondary coil. So without any connection between the primary and the secondary coil, because there's a change in magnetic field and already we discussed that change in a magnetic field will always induce EMF or current. So what happened? This iron core magnetic field is changing. So as the magnetic field is continuously changing, what it will produce? 
it will produce a current in the secondary coil the current start to flow in the secondary so if you connect a lamp here or a bulb or you so have why a is changing? why it is changing because there is an ac current alternating current produce variable magnetic field and this magnetic field magnetize this iron and because the magnetic field of due to the current is changing so magnetic field of iron is also changing and as the magnetic field of the iron is changing it will induce emf in the secondary so if there is a bulb or the lamp or a voltmeter that will show us the reading so without any connection between the two wires we are able to produce a voltage due to the change in magnetic field and this device is known as transformer now what is the advantage of using this transformer is it clear the working of a transformer first there is an yes, ac sir. ac current alternating current in the primary this alternating because the current is having a magnetic effect so this alternating current produces a magnetic field this iron is magnetized because of the magnetic field of a primary and magnetic field is continuously changing why because ac current changes its direction and magnitude by itself continuously it changes direction and magnitude so as a alternating current or ac current changes direction and magnitude it produce a variable magnetic field and when there is a variable magnetic field that magnetic field cause the iron to be magnetized which is also having a variable magnetic field and the change in the magnetic field will induce emf in the secondary coil so what we supply the voltage which we supply we call that as vp and the voltage which we receive we call that as vs vp is a primary voltage or input voltage and vs is a output voltage or secondary voltage and for a transformer the formula for transformer which relate the voltage between the primary and the secondary Uh, which coil is primary left hand side or right hand side which coil is primary coil in this so which coil is a prime the left hand because the supply is on the left hand side so this is where you have ac supply that is always a primary coil and what you get output that's a sec so voltage of secondary is vs voltage of primary is vp how many times you wrap the wire around like number of times we wrap this wire around that's called np number of turns of primary and how many times the secondary turns are there that's called ns so the formula which relate the voltage and the turns is vs over vp is equal to ns over np n is a number of turns of secondary ns and np is a number of turns of primary so there are two types of transformers the transformer can be known as a step up a step up transformer the output the number of turns of secondary will be more than or greater than number of turns of primary and the output voltage will be higher higher than the prime input voltage that kind of transformer is known as 
step up transformer and what is step down transformer the second type of transformer in a step down transformer number of turns of primary are more than number of turns of secondary and the output voltage will be lower than the input voltage that type of transformer is known as step down transformer i will explain the application of both transformers step up and step down so basically this this is the first slide salman this is the first slide we started with electromagnetic induction the change in the magnetic field will produce emf and for this electromagnetic induction we use faraday's and lenz law to explain the idea then the device is based on electromagnetic induction is a transformer and ac generator so we are discussing transformer how the transformer works first you have a ac input ac input produce variable magnetic field and this magnetic field magnetize the soft iron core the change in the magnetic field of iron core induce emf in the secondary coil which can be step up or step down by using a suitable turn ratio like i can adjust the turns if i make output like num this turns of a secondary less so which transformer it looks like in this figure step up or step down input is having more turns and output is having less turn so this is step down transformer now what is the application of step down transformer actually step down transformer you are using every day how you are using a step down transformer every day when you want to charge your mobile you want to charge your mobile but your mobile only required 7 volt for a complete charging it is variable depending on because different charges changes the voltage to different value i am taking an average like example your mobile required 7 volts to charge completely but the socket the main supply when you check the main supply so this main supply is 220 so the main supply is 220 or 110 can be the 220 240 or 110 can be there but it is higher so i cannot connect my mobile directly to this main supply this is too high voltage like every charge carry 240 joule but my the char for a mobile charging we need only the charge should have a 7 joules to supply the energy or store the energy in the battery that will be too high it the battery might explode because of this too high voltage so what we do we connect a charger so actually what is your charger your charger is a transformer means inside the charger there is a small transformer is placed and in this transformer the input is having more turns and the output is having less turns so when you connect your mobile charger to the plug to the socket and this is a cord so when you plug in the charger to the socket so what it do it take 220 volts but it convert it into 7 volt and that's sufficient to charge this mobile so which transformer is this it is taking more 
वोल्टेज एंड रिड्यूसिंग अ वोल्टेज टू अ स्मॉलर वैल्यू सो दैट्स कॉल्ड अ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज इट क्लियर द स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर फर्स्ट द वर्किंग ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड देन वट इज अ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर any doubt in this working of a transformer then what is the application of step up this is about the step down for a step up transformer so step down transformer are basically for ch adapters charging purpose we use but for step up transformer we use for power transmission example uh, the use of step up transformer so how a step up transformer uh, works it is used in a power transmission because what happen we are not living next to the power station the power station are relatively far away from uh, residential areas for so example as we are the consumer or this is a residential area and the electricity or the power is generated this is a power station it can be nuclear power station it can be coal oil or gas power station any kind of power station so they want to transfer the power from power station what the power they develop to the consumer like as we are using it we are the consumer so they want to transfer this power to us for this purpose what they use they use high tension wires like wires are used to transfer the power but what happen as the current passes through the wire what is the effect of the current whenever there is a current in the wire the current can produce a magnetic field also it can produce heat so due to the current heat is produced which increases the loss of power means the power loss will increase if there is more heat greater amount of heat energy is there more energy will be lost or more power will be lost so example a power station a power station is generating say 100 watt this is just an example it's generated more than that but i am saying a power station generated 100 watts 
and they want the consumer to receive 100 watts practically is not possible that all 100 watts will be transferred theoretically it is possible because you don't have a device which is 100% efficient even for transformer so for the power transmission we want to reduce the power loss so how we can reduce the power loss because we want to transfer from the power station to a consumer same 100 watt so for that purpose we use a step up transformer as we use a step up transformer the input is having less turns and the output will have more turns So we want to transfer 100 watt. So if input power is 100, the power, I'm not saying voltage or current, the output power should also be 100. Now, what about the voltage example? If I say, as we know, the power is a product of voltage and current. P is equals to VI. So if input voltage was 50 what will be the input current to get the 100 watts if input voltage was 50 p is equals to vi so what will be the input current it will be 2 amps 2 ampere because 50 multiplied by 2 that will make 100 so about the input So voltage is 50, so our current should be 2 so that input power is 100 watt. But about the output, because it's a step-up transformer, a step-up transformer increases the voltage. So we adjusted the turn so that the voltage output, at this point, the input voltage was 50. But output voltage, when we adjusted the turn ratio, example, output voltage is 200 volts. So if output voltage is 200 volts, what should be the current? To get the same power, because the power, if power input is 100, the power output should also be 100. It cannot be more power what is generated. Otherwise, it will be against the law of conservation of energy. So if it is 200 volts, then the current should be 0 0.5. So 200 into 0 0.5, you can see, we'll get a 100 watt. So when we use a step up transformer, it increases the voltage in the line and it reduces the current. So as it reduces the current, what it will do as the current is decreased, it will reduce the heating effect. So it minimizes the losses due to heat because of the high current. So that's why we use a step up transformer. So when we use a step up transformer, it increases the output voltage and decreases the current. The power is constant. So increases the voltage and reduce the current. So if less current, it means it will produce less heating effect. So step up transformer reduce the current and increase the voltage and reduce the current. Which minimize the power loss due to heat. Is it clear? So for high tension wire transmission of electricity, we use high voltage and low current to reduce the heat loss, uh, to reduce the power loss because of heat. Is it clear the working of step up transformer?
So, sir, the 100 volt uh, becomes 200 volt? Yeah, 100. No, not 100 volt. I becomes, mean, uh, 50 volt. Yeah. 50 volt becomes 200. Why? How it increases the voltage? Because you can see there are more turns. In the secondary, if you remember the electromagnetic induction, according to electromagnetic induction, change in magnetic field will induce EMF. And how we can increase the size of EMF by using a stronger magnet or by using a greater length of a wire in a magnetic field. So greater length of a wire in a magnetic field. That's why the input voltage will be less. Like if I was having a 10 volts supply a input, but the output will be more than 10. It can be any number. Like example here, it is 30. If it is a step up transformer. And the current will be less. Current will be less. Yeah, got it. So increase, so it will increase the voltage, reduce the power will be same because otherwise if I say the input power is less and output power is more, that's totally wrong because that will be against the law of conservation of energy because what energy is supplied same amount of energy will be output but that energy yeah. output voltage will be higher current will be less but the product will be same so if for example i want to transfer say 5000 or 500 watts so here p is equals to vi so if I want to transfer 500 watts, so voltage is 10. If voltage is 10, what should be the current? If voltage is 10, what should be the current to get the 500 watts? So that will be equal to 50 because 10 multiplied by 50, uh, that's equal 500. So the power input is 500. So if there is no, practically there are losses, like you don't have a device, 100% efficient. Theoretically, you assume it is 100% efficient, so it will give you the same power. So if it gives you the same power, then voltage is a product, uh, power is a product of voltage and current. So if voltage is 30, how much is be the current to have the same 500 power? So 50 divided by 30, what's the answer? 500 divided by 30, what's the answer? 16.7. So it should be 16.7 approximate 16 point recurring decimal is there your six seven so it will approximately give you 500 watts so you can see step up transformer increases the voltage and reduces the current so if current is less less heating effect in because the current is having having a heating effect greater amount of current means more heating effect Small amount of current means less heating effect. And if it's less heating effect, it will minimize the power loss. Then transformer can work continuously with AC, but cannot work with DC. Why the transformer cannot work with DC? What is the reason? For example, I have uh, primary and secondary coils. It won't work because there will be no change in magnetic field. Yeah, there will be no change. There will be a magnetic field, but there's no change in the magnetic field. So if I connect a DC supply, so DC supply, what, what is, when we represent a direct current, a DC current, a constant DC, so what it shows, it shows that the current is not changing. If the current is not changing, there will be a magnetic field, means when the current is there, passing through the wire, That current magnetizes this iron. So iron, a magnetic material, due to the magnetic field, iron will be magnetized. That's right. But the thing is, because it's a constant current, 
So if the current is constant, there is no change in the magnetic field. So it will produce a constant magnetic field. So direct current or DC current. produce constant magnetic field so it does not induce emf or it cannot induce emf so if i connect a lamp if I connect a lamp because there is no output voltage, so this lamp will remain off. But sometime what we observe, for example, if we were having a switch here, if I am having a switch at this position, and in the beginning the switch is open, in the beginning start switch is open, the moment when I close the switch, I will see a flash, like I will see a lamp light up for a short time and then it will turn off. What is the reason why the lamp flash here or lamp light up for a short time? Because what happened initially, when the switch is open, there's no current. So initially when the switch is open there is no current but once you close the switch the current start to increase and then it become constant so this part you can see when you close the switch the current start to re reach a certain value so this part the current is changing that's why a small change in a magnetic field cause a change in magnetic field of iron core and that cause a lamp to light up but then it become constant so there is no change in magnetic field and if there is no change in a magnetic field, there is no induce EMF. So only for a short time, the lamp light up and then it will stop. Is it clear this part? Now I'll share some questions related to this transformer. 